Katsu. Okay. Ga Katsu. Right Game & Watch. That I, it I was is. right. Yeah. I was right. Like, All right. We were right. both right. I was like, there's mm -hmm. Neko in there, and you're like, he's a Game & Watch right. main, so we got close. I recognized him. All right. So we got Neko Katsu versus Volata going Game 1 on Town. The biggest stage in the game, technically, like Blast Zone-wise, yeah. which is a huge... Like shaker to me because it was the opposite in Smash Four. Yeah, it was the smallest like blast zone. Not you a, get not on the side, but on the top. Yeah. yeah, I used to love this stage, and right now, ooh, no, Valadin. I'm pretty just, sure you did. Yeah, Valadin just. All right, that was very smart dashing by by Neko Katsu, and I think Game Watch insane in this game. Yeah, and so is Lucina. So, so is Lucina. Oh, oh my and that'll do it. Dude, Lucina's just this, this, having a disjoint in this game. That, like that size, you can just do stuff like that. Run off stage. You don't have to fear anything. You're not gonna get reversal. None of that's gonna happen if you space, like even remotely well. Yeah. You know. That's very true. That was whew, double fair into side B. 32 damage up for Vladin right now. Yeah, and Vladin, honestly, he was really good in Smash 4, like kind of one of those hidden bosses. Mm. The real the real hidden boss there, because he only came out to a few tournaments a couple times, do really well with Lucina, and he was known right. for it. You see that interaction he just did? He, he saw that he was going to fare. Instead of challenging the actual fare, the bomb. Oh, he's dead. Oh, no, he's very good. Instead of challenging the bomb, Vladin ran past under him and then fared him towards the center of the stage. That was it was really, so yeah. weird. I was like, what? <laughs> it was a really good call out, too. And right now, Nekokatsu was able to see all that stock with a down smash, F smash, oh, kill you. There. Oh, and an up air, man. He's definitely got Vlad in a tough situation. He catches the landing there with a dash attack. Now, that up air, not one to kill, but it does a ton of damage, and it combos out of a lot of his moves. Yeah, so you have to be really careful when you get hit Ooh. by each one. All right, it's good back air. Swipes him away. Looks like Vlad moving in towards center stage here, just trying to get something going. And I like to get the forward air. Good spacing right. away oh. from the down air. I see exactly. You know, I think that was the buff coming into play there, because they actually added less lag on Game & Game Watch's dare. Vlad, yeah. he, he dashed away, expecting him to dare. Tried to whiff punish the lag, but he was able to spot dodge in time, because oh, less lag on the dare. <laughs> like, ooh. <laughs> Oh, caught the roll-up like with F-Tilt. I think he definitely wanted the F-Smash there, but that, that'll do for now. How's he going to get the stock? The way that Vlad was spaced, too, it looked like he was really ready, ready to catch the Drag down with the Nair and the down smash. <gasps> Excellent attack by Vlad. All right. How did that miss? <laughs> Not going to kill. Biggest <laughs> biggest top blast zone in the in the game for us, or at least out of our yeah. stages. It, you're right, though. It is a bit of a change, too, because the one stage you never thought was going to get changed. Right. But now yeah. it's like, hey, I guess we're going to change it. All right, this is very interesting. That Eftel would If yeah. that Eftel connected, it would have been. But Vladin doing an excellent job punching yeah, it out of the shield. Yeah, at the ledge, too. Yeah. The way that you said earlier, right, if you space out your, yourself, you're going to be really well with Lucina. That's what I've been saying from Vladin, right? He spaced himself earlier to definitely read the roll from Nekokatsu. Right. With that forward tilt. Obviously, mm -hmm. you wanted a forward smash, but the forward tilt's still a good pick. Oh, no. Oh, what? <laughs> I think he wanted to parry that for sure. Yeah. What's interesting about Lucina, or what I think her biggest strength is, um, in both Smash 1 and in this game, the, the big in this game more because she has more freedom with her movement, but she okay. has this big-ass disjoint, a lot of freedom with her movement. She's able to cover, cover multiple things at once. Like, she can be like, all right, I think he's going to do this, this, this. I'm going to cover that and react to everything else. That's like a huge tree of option coverage. And Lucina's like, having a sword, like, really aids her. And in this matchup especially, um, it, it helps a lot because <laughs> trying to react to everything Game Watch can do is very difficult. A couple up airs. Vlad is stuck going in this little bit of a vortex from Game & Watch. He's able to get out of that down right. air. Wow, that, he wasn't expecting... Oh, that was close. That he, was close. He wasn't expecting the turtle to have that much range. All right. That turtle, I'm not going to lie. It feels like it has a little bit more range compared to Smash 4. It might. I'm actually not sure, but it, it is in, insane regardless. On landing especially, because it has the landing hitbox. All right. Wanted the dash tag there. I think he could have... No. Okay. Still fighting for the game here. Go for the dash tag there. Nice. That Swipes kill. away and that'll kill connecting right. that last hit. And the way it's the timing that you saw from the ladder, yeah. right? The making Slowed sure it down. Mm -hmm. Wanted to make sure that he wouldn't fall out. Alright, All right. Well, cut to take a sip of the water. Mm -hmm. Didn't like how that game went. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like it. Shakes his head, but looks like he's coming back to it. We'll All see right. if he can do a game two. He does look determined. He does look determined. Fun fact about Vlad, he actually doesn't play this game that often. Yeah. He does I, like I, it. I was gonna say, like, he he likes it, but I remember he told me he like, I haven't played that often. Yeah. Hidden right. boss, still remaining the hidden boss. What stage did they pick? I was looking at You got me there, dude. You got me there. <laughs> Alright, getting into game two. It's going to be interesting to see where he counterpicked them, because I didn't get to see it. I'm sure the chat did. Alright, Smashville. This is a fair counterpick, I guess. I think it benefits both. Wait, okay. Yeah, I was about to say, wait, hazards? <laughs> and then I forgot that it moves to the <laughs> it center. Moved, yeah, yeah, the platform moves in each time. Right. So this does benefit both, I believe. Uh, potentially, the Latin more. Uh, simply because... Game Watch will die earlier off the sides because of Lucina's massive sword swings yeah. and her insane power. And Game Watch's relative like lightness compared to her. No, he's pretty light in good general, space, actually. Good spacing there from Vladin, too. They're able to get away from that Katsu, but they Katsu having a bit of a tough time here just trying to come in with Vladin. I like that he understands, like, hey, these down air is much more buff than it was last right. match, but I need to be careful 
with it. You know, I don't want to spam it too much because I'm going to get spaced out by Vladen. Right, right. Vladen's going to start expecting because it's harder to punish the down air immediately. You can't. It's harder to punish the lag of the down air. Mm -hmm. Vladen has to read what he's going to. If he's not close enough, he has to read what he's going to do after. He's going to spot dodge. He's going to shield, down smash. You know, whatever. Oh, like you said, what's going to do after? Right, right. Really set up the smash in there. Vladen able to get away though. All right. Well, careful on the landing, though. I, I like to do with that down there. Able to pull hit, through. What? No <laughs> that, super armor. That hit, his, that hit his feet. The dare hit his foot, dude. <laughs> Lucina's dare reached so far that it hit Game Watch's toes, and then he was able to combo off of it. Wow. Okay, Vlad, oh, keeping the space in here in mind. Doesn't want to get hit by any of those smash attacks from Nekukatsu. Like, okay. Sets up the anti with the up smash, though. Looking for to see if Nekukatsu is going to go from the aerial option. As he's been doing, Vlad like, going for the forward air, the air. I feel like he's relying a little bit too much on... Relying on Vladdy to dash in into yeah. one of his moves, he kind of has Ooh. to instead of waiting for something to happen, he should maybe. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I, w I was gonna figure that like if he made something, mm -hmm. like tried to bait him into with his movement, <laughs> which he's which he's been doing the whole match. But right there in that specific instance, he was relying on him to dash in. Oh, so All close! Right. I like it. Gets Again, going. ran past him. I think I know why too, because he's he's running. Oh my goodness! All right, he cut. <laughs> <laughs> he caught him dashing in. But like you said earlier, right, he was looking for that. He wanted the dash in. He wanted right. the aerial approach. And Nekokatsu was keen to get the punish there right. afterwards. Ooh, no. oh, got oh the berry. The, got him with the berry. All right. It's clean. 39 damage. Oh, I know Valada was looking. That move, is, that move is really good at two framing, by the yeah. way. <laughs> All right. We got the neutral beat, the ledge. Kind of put himself at the corner there, dashing off stage. I think he wanted them to dash in again. But he just ended up putting himself on it's the ledge. From Vladimir there, able to get the swipe to for a second time. Right, and that was so, so, like, a good opportunity snagged uh, by Vladimir. He saw him, he put himself at the ledge. Vladimir kept him there until it killed him. You know, that's Smash Fundamentals 101. <laughs> keep, your, keep your opponent at the ledge, especially when you have a big ass disjoint that's literally, like, bigger than the character you're fighting. <laughs> Goodness. Yeah. All right, good cross that, up. That How's he gonna? Oh no, he dropped shield too early. I think he might have been trying to parry the last hit. Oh, good. Oh, very Come back on the, f on the side B yet again. Dude, that was very unfortunate because he could have he could have got a big punish there. Okay. On uh, Nekokatsu's the there. part. There's the punish there from Vlad, but right, he's punish. not able to get it there. The shield from the Nekokatsu coming on the Nekokatsu. Got my stage. He wanted to catch the jump. Oh, oh my goodness! What is so quick? That was really fast. <laughs> Wow, alright, Vladin taking that taking that set 2-0 pretty clean that second game. I feel like at the end that just a lot of unfortunate stuff started happening. You know, he, he dropped a couple punishes, drop shield like in it drop shield at the wrong time. Kind of a little bit committed too hard uh, after he threw him off stage. Tried to catch his jump. Alright, he missed the mm -hmm. first time. I figured he'd retreat the ledge, try the ledge trap.